Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are talking about everything for Crochet Christmas Decorations 2023. If you are new and you haven't seen my tutorials before, you are in for a treat. All of my tutorials are step-by-step, -step, complete from start to finish, so I don't make you go and buy a pattern if you want to finish the project, but all of my patterns are available on my website, secretyarnery.com, and they're also written in plain English, so you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. You just follow along with the written instructions and it's just like I was sitting there right beside you. If you are looking for crochet Christmas stockings, I'm making a separate video just for that, so keep your eye out for it and I'll link it in the cards when it's available. And one last thing, if crochet or yarn is your jam, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. There is new crochet stuff every week. Okay, crochet Christmas decorations 2023, let's jump right in. What are we jumping into? Let's see. Decorations. Okay. <laughs> I made a little list of like things like different different areas where you could decorate. We're starting with decorations. I guess that means ba -ba -ba, Christmas tree. Yes, who does not need a Christmas tree? This works up so quick. It is so easy. Like it is just basic crochet. You'll make it up in a couple hours at the most. You just need three different colors of yarn. It's like an already decorated Christmas tree wall hanging. It comes with a little hanger and it can just put it on a little nail on your door. It's perfect for apartments or classrooms or anywhere where you want a little bit of cheer but you don't want to go through the hassle of putting up a tree, decorating a tree, taking down a tree, putting away the decorations. You can just pop this out hang it up on, on your nail, on a door, uh, or a window, and it is finished. You have decorated for the holidays. So this is a super easy win. You just have to have one. It is like a must, must. <laughs> the next one is great. So good. Snowballs. These are great for an indoor snowball fight. You can't hit any, well, can't hit, <laughs> I can't hit anything, but you can't hurt anything either. Hmm? They're so good. So it's pretty much like DIY Nerf indoor snowball fight at home. Now these can be made different sizes just by using the same yarn, but you could also just use a smaller hook to a bigger hook. So this is a four millimeter and this I think is a five millimeter. I already threw the six milli. There we go. So four, five, and six millimeter. There is no stuffing inside. It is just yarn. So you just make, you just follow the pattern. Follow the tutorial. So easy to do, so fun. They have a really good textured edge. The other fun thing, can you see that one? Yeah, baby, that's yellow snow. So when we do our snowball fights, you don't want to get hit with the yellow snowball, like extra points deducted or given if you smack somebody with the yellow snow snowball. So super fun to do and just nice to have like a little basket of snowballs by your fireplace. If the kids come over, grandkids come over, or you just want to have fun yourself, these are great. See, I can't hit ya. Oh, got ya. Almost got ya. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean that up, by the way. Maybe it wasn't so fun after all. Yes, it was totally fun. Next easy fun decoration, same sort of vibe, but guess what it is? These are coal. <laughs> Perfect gag gift or to put in someone's stocking. So, so fun. Same idea as the snowball, but just made with a dark gray or a black colored yarn. And you can give the gift of coal. Naughty or nice? Definitely naughty. Now I think this is my all time favorite Christmas. Oh, I love my stockings. This is my all time, this is definitely my kids favorite. <laughs> they love it. It's something I learned from one of my lovely, lovely subscribers one year, a few years ago. We were sharing Christmas traditions or holiday traditions and one was a Christmas pickle. Christmas pickle. Yes, I have a jar of Christmas pickles. They live in my yarnery. How cute is that, by the way? So they're all a little bit different, as a pickle should be. So really fun pattern to do because you don't have to really stress out 
about? Is it the right stitch count? Did I, where should I put the, you know, that little knobbly bit? Where should I make it different? Where should I cinch it in? Where should I, no, you just do you. Whatever your pickle turns out, good. It's a pickle. They can all be a little bit different. I put some Google eyes on ours different colored Google eyes because we have to color code the Christmas pickle. Now Christmas pickle I think traditionally was you tuck it in the tree on Christmas Eve and whoever finds it Christmas morning gets an extra present. That doesn't really work at my house because it's not that fair for all the kids. You know I have four children so you don't want to have like that competition-y kind of feeling at my house anyway. So what we do we hide the Christmas pickle starting December 1st all the way through pretty much until school starts because it's just too much fun and everybody enjoys it so much. So I hide the Christmas pickle and whoever finds the Christmas pickle gets a treat. It could be a chocolate, it could be a book, it could be a ruler, it could be a pencil, it could be whatever you have on hand or whatever that particular kid or person really likes. So you can kind of customize it. You don't have to have it like so thought out as an advent. We just hide the Christmas pickle. As soon as it is hidden or as soon as it's found, I go and hide it again. So you can hide it up with the curtain rods. You can put it behind something. I put it on top of green cookbooks so it just kind of sits on top oops, of the hardcover books and kind of hides in. Also with green mixing bowls, anything green you can kind of hide it with. Anything up high you can kind of hide it with. What our rules are is you don't have to open anything and it is not in the yarnery. It's not in my office. It's not in my bedroom. Where else is it not? That's about it. Anywhere where I don't want the kids rummaging around, the, it's clear as day the pickle is not going to be in those rooms. Other than that, it's a free-for-all. It is so fun. The kids love it. They're already waiting for Christmas pickle. They love Christmas pickle. I love you too, Christmas pickle. So we have a whole selection, but they're all different, and we know which one we're using that year. So I have with blue eyes, green eyes, all different. Small, big, because what will happen, someone will go to the jar, get a new pickle, and say, oh, look, Mom, I found the pickle. No, you didn't. No, you didn't find the pickle. So we keep... The pickle jar, set number of pickles inside, one loose pickle for finding. That was a long explanation, but so worth it, you have to try it. It is so, 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 so fun. Now the next decoration is something you could use to make whatever you wanted to make. So it's Christmassy, but it's also open to interpretation for whatever you wanted to make is the Christmas flower granny square. If you're into granny squares, this is a great pattern to do. If you did it in opposite colors, so green for the flower, it looks just like a Christmas wreath. It does. So this is a really fun pattern. If you are into granny squares and wanna do something granny square Christmassy, this is a go-to. Next is advent calendar. Isn't this one great? So this is the Christmas stocking advent calendar. These beauties right there. Isn't that cute? So 24 of these. We just count down to the 24. You could do 25 if you felt like it. And then you can put a little treat in each one. What I did for mine, and this is included in the written pattern, I made these cute little numbers they're little number presents, basically. So you, that you can cut them out, you print them, cut them out, and you can tuck them into your advent calendar. And then it is literally just a countdown. You don't have to stress out about, I have to fill it, like with a, each one needs a chocolate, or why isn't there a chocolate in day 18? Because my kids would have taken the chocolate from day 18. So this is a super easy way to keep it even if you have an unmanageable amount of children <laughs> or you just don't want to bother. This is like a stress-free way of totally nailing an advent calendar. They also fit little chocolates. So these are like Frere Rocher. These are actually lint, but same size as Frere Rocher. They fit right inside. So if you wanted to do a little chocolate version, these fit perfectly inside there as well. So this is the Christmas stocking advent calendar. A must must for anyone who is prepared. Now if you are not that advanced where you already have an advent calendar going on, you could do a small one. This is the 12 days of Christmas. 
Same sort of idea. I got it a little twisted here. I got it a lot twisted, but you get the idea. So this is the 12 days of Christmas. So you can just do this right now and get this one popped up by the 12th of December, right? So you have some time left to do it. And it's the same thing. It also comes with those cute little numbers cut out where you can do just a one to 12 countdown or 12 to one countdown for Christmas. Or of course, fill it with little treats of whatever your heart desires. That is cute right there. So cute. So that's the 12 days of Christmas advent calendar. And that gets us to garlands. Garlands are another fun way to decorate. You can wrap them, like loop them around your curtains. You could wrap them around your Christmas tree. You could put them around your doorway. This is the Hollyberry garland. I just used regular four weight worsted acrylic for this one. And you just pretty much make little berries all the way along and you could make it as long as you want. I think this is 100 grams is as far as I got with this one. I love it. It is so easy to do, so fun. You can just watch TV, make a whole bunch of garland and decorate your house. Also, to be honest, it doesn't have to even be for Christmas. This would be cute just about anywhere in any color. Really cute. This on a patio, so cute. Another garland is the vintage garland. So this is the same sort of vibe, the same sort of feeling, but with metallic eyelash yarn. So this is for all you metallic or eyelash lovers out there. It is even faster and easier than the Hollyberry, less stitches because you can't really see anything where those, where the big uh, berries are in this one. So super easy to do and a great way to use up that eyelash yarn. So this is the vintage garland and it looks fantastic on a tree. It really adds like a little bit of like old Hollywood glamor to your um, holiday decorations. This is just the right size for my mini tree. I also decorate my mini tree with this and tuck a Christmas pickle behind it. It's a great spot. Great Christmas pickle hider also. Next, we're moving on to gift tags or ornaments. So really ornaments could be ornaments for your Christmas tree. They could also personalize a gift, a coffee mug, a Christmas boot, anything that you would like to give. You could also just tie a cute little ornament to it or a gift tag. So these are my snowflake ornaments. They are around a milk jug. So a milk jug ring inside there, that keeps it nice and open. And another suggestion was you could put like a, a school photo of your child or your grandchild behind there and it would be a super cute picture frame, a little keepsake to hang on your tree as well. So I thought that's also a really good idea. These work up really fast and of course you could use any color yarn you like. I just did a whole bunch of whites and blues and all that. So the ones I really like, these are my go-to, are these cute little five pointed stars. So how to crochet a star, I got you covered. These little beauties dress up any gift whatsoever. They are so easy to do, so fast to do, and they make a perfect gift tag any time of year, even if you did them in rainbow colors or in metallics. Isn't that the cutest? So this is a great pattern for gift tags or Christmas ornaments. And for everybody celebrating Hanukkah, this is six pointed stars. Aren't those cute? And they of course can be made in any color combination that you like. All the blues, the silvers, the golds, whatever you like, also really great for gift tags. So that is, it's a different pattern to be honest. I'd like to say it just has one more point than, ah, so cute, than the five pointed, but it's actually a different pattern. Still so worth it. So check both of those tutorials out if you are interested in making stars. 
You can also make these Christmas ornaments. The great thing about these, all you need is yarn and a crochet hook. You don't need anything extra to hang it and you don't need anything extra to stuff it. It is super easy, just five rows of crochet and it turns into a fabulous Christmas ornament. You could make them all in one color or in five different colors or any combination that you like. I just used red, white, and green for these and I think they're just so pretty. They'll be so cute on a tree. Also be really great with metallic. Perhaps a row of metallic in the center. So red and green and then a metallic, either gold or silver in the center would be so spectacular as well. So these are super fun to make really easy once you get the hang of it. There is a written pattern already and a tutorial coming soon. I'll link that in the cards when it is available. So excited about these. And I am doing a whole tutorial for Christmas stockings, but I thought I would include these in here as well because they are the super cutest ornaments or decorations. So these are mini granny square stockings that are absolutely perfect. They are just made like the cutest little boot. You don't have to worry about making the heel, it's just automatic. So the whole pattern is automatic, just follow along and you will have the cutest stocking ornaments in no time. So those little beauties right there work up so quick, so easy. They are super addictive and so fun to make. So that is an option if you wanna do Christmas stocking ornaments. Another amazing way to decorate for Christmas is with this. Hmm? Doesn't look like much, right? But you put it over top of a bobble, just a regular plastic bobble, snug it down, and look. It is a bobble skirt ornament. Bobble skirt ornament. So why it's so great? Look at that. Number one, any color yarn, any type of yarn, any color yarn, you're not covering up your already metallic bobble with crochet. So you don't have to do solid crochet around an entire bobble to get the decoration. You just do some little chains and some slip stitches and some single crochets and you end up with this amazing ornament or bobble skirt ornament that covers half of a regular ornament. You still see all the shine underneath and you still see all the shine along the top but it kind of color codes it to match your Christmas. So written patterns for all of these fabulous things and video tutorials right and left handed. So all that is linked in the description and I hope you enjoyed. If you crochet something that is your favorite for the holidays, let me know all about it in the comments and I'm waiting for you in that video right there. Stay hooked.